Here. Oh shit, say? a demon here. I don't really think any option is gonna be a good one. Motherfucker! Oh damn. <laughs> we are watching you. Was it you that pushed Rob? It was me. Did it just say water? Did I not just ask about water? Did you just ask about water? That's where we've seen it. Right down there is where we put the footsteps. Yeah. What the fuck what was that? I literally, I thought I was dead. <laughs> you ran. And I was like, yep, this is where my life is. You say, Mark, you ready? I have no idea. <laughs> so it's either going to go really good or really bad. Nervous? Um, I'm a little nervous. I can't even lie about it. What are you it, nervous about? The fact that we, for whatever reason, decided to just walk the property. Which makes no sense to me. But, hey. Like I said, either really good or really bad, we're going to see what happens. What you got going on here? <clears throat> well, pretty basic equipment. We got two flashlights. We got the rim pod. And then in here, we have our handy dandy essentials. EMF meters. We're gonna load up and hit it. And like I said, we're gonna see what happens. We don't have to take that whole box. You can just take out what you need. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, on that. I said we take this antenna off, what do you think? Absolutely. Let me get one of them flashlights. Alright, cool. Hold on one second. I'd like to see a little farther than four feet in front of me For at some sure. point. That's the dim one, so I'll give you the bright one. And then I'll hold on to this one. Alright. You can grab those headphones so we can do the Estes method? Yep, for sure. Don't need that. Alright. Ready to get this started? And away we go. Get into some crazy stuff. We tried to find as much history on the properties we could. Uh, but honestly, it's kind of hard just because it's so much land. It's made up of like 14 or 15 different tracks. Um, so each track has a different history and a different story. So we're kind of just going to walk around. Um, we're going to use the Spirit Talker app. We're going to have that running just to kind of see what we catch. So okay. the Spirit Talker app. Yeah. Yes, it is a phone application. Some people are going to be like, oh, it's fake or those aren't real. And that's fine. You can believe in what you want to believe in. But I'm going to shout out CJ Face on. If you go to his YouTube and follow him, he does paranormal investigations. He uses the Spirit Talker app. And I mean, the man's got, well, I think close to 700,000 subscribers at this point. So, hey, it's good enough for CJ. It's good enough for us. So, we don't know if this place is haunted, not haunted, whatever. And we're not here to say yes or no necessarily to that. We're basically just going to go out here, hear what we hear, see what we see. Uh, we'll form our own opinions. But, I mean, ultimately, it's up to you guys to see what you believe once you get the footage and see what happens and hear the things that you hear. Uh, it's really, you know, just whatever happens. For such an expansive property, there's not a lot of animals at night, which has always been kind of weird. You don't see a lot of deer, raccoons, skunks, squirrels, nothing. It's always been kind of odd. Uh, certain spots on the property have almost no activity like that. Now that could be from natural causes or it could be paranormal. We don't know. I just stepped on a stick and scared the shit out of me. I can't even lie. <laughs> We've done a lot of mini investigations um, just to kind of get a feel for what we were getting into, I guess you could say. Haunted or not, though, walking through the woods at night is super creepy. I can't even lie. Alright. Fire her up. Let's see what happens. So this right here is actually the trail. 
What did it just say? Explore. Yep, explore. God, that's creepy. Considering you were just talking about how. Yeah. We're gonna explore, right. as opposed to investigate. Hold on, let's just hang out here for a minute. Are you trying no, to run away? Wrong. What? No, that's wrong. Was it telling you no, that's wrong to walk down that way? I think and, it was. And just for reference, Arrest. That, that way is the cabin. And the cabin to me is one of the creepiest places here. Yeah. What did it say? Arrest. It says, explore. No, that's wrong. Arrest. The crazy thing to me is we're walking around exploring. I started to go down there. You told me not to. And it said, no, that's wrong. It's almost like, it's like mimicking us. You hear that? I'm with my children. Some of the responses, if not a lot of them, can be directly correlated to things we're doing, talking about, or even asking it. All right, so we're about to walk down the hill to the cabin. Is that okay? Just see what we get. Okay, so this hill we're about to go down. Just up here to the right, I'll try to point it out if I can see it in the dark, is where the clip we put on Instagram and YouTube um, is where I heard something run up on it. But Mark and another gentleman by the name of Thomas who was with us, they did not hear it. And with us, what did it say? Pleased to meet you. As you're heading down to the cabin, it's saying pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Let me get in that. Just hold here for a second. So like I was saying, in that video, you know, we were reviewing it, we talked about it, and to us it sounded like hooves. We didn't specify that it sounded like hooves to us when we put that out because we wanted people to formulate their own opinion. But to go even further with that, Thomas, the gentleman that was with us, he also works here. Um, he has claimed pretty much since the day he started to hear whistling in the woods. Now, for any of you paranormal gurus or people of, of that genre, you know that whistling is synonymous with skinwalkers. Um, legend has it and you can read up on this all you want is one of the only things they can't change is their legs and their feet and their feet are said to be hooves so could that potentially have been a skinwalker running up on us or warning us i don't know are we invoke invoke oh we're done uh, all right let's just go let's yeah, just roll let's just roll on let's just... but right now we're getting some pretty odd stuff on this spirit talker app. Oh, no. A demon here. Oh shit. Say? A demon here. A demon here. Now, that's interesting. We're talking about going down to the cabin, right? What was in that clip that you released from one of the mini investigations we did down here? It says, watch out. And I ask what we need to watch out for, and it says demon. Of course. Damn, that's crazy. So just to refer back. Investigate. So it has now said two things that we mentioned earlier on in the video, explore and investigate. Yeah, it says, of course, investigate. We were just talking about doing the investigation once we got down there. But you know what I was about to say before it said uh, demon here? What? I was about to show everyone that that tree right there, Yeah. that's the tree just on the other side. So as we walk past it, it'll be on our right. That is where I heard those hooves or footsteps run up on us. You ready to keep going? Yeah. So if you don't know what we're talking about as far as the clip, it's over on our Instagram um, of us doing a session down here before, one of the mini sessions we had talked about, and it directly correlates with what this box is saying right now. So this could be interesting. So it was it was right here. There. I heard it. So in the exact spot that I was showing people, it just said we lived close. Cement shoes. Oh fuck, there's water down there. We'll get to that. 
I guess let's just keep going. <laughs> What's your name? Did you hear that? I did hear that. Like two loud bangs? Yes. Hold it sounded like feet on a boat. Hold on. Um. Yeah, I just kind of want to hang out Bad here. Bad things me. happened. God damn it. This. I really regret. Oh, I mean, my. okay, let, let's be real. Let's talk spirit talker for a minute and, and skepticism. People can think that's fake or not. I don't care. I mean, believe what you want. But if nothing else, these fake ass answers add to how creepy it is out here. The thing with me that kind of makes it seem legitimate is that we used an actual spirit talk the other day. And it was saying the exact same things for the most part. Like the same message. So just for reference, that right there is the tree. You can't see it now, but down there is the pond. Oh fuck! It said, "Are you hearing me?" Because we haven't talked about it. Or, okay, or is go. it asking if we heard those those two loud thumps? I'm not sure. Let's just, let's just go down there. Alright, let's go. It, it, ain't, it ain't getting any closer and any less creepy. You know, talking about this in the daytime. And, oh, yeah, it'll just be... I'll move something. What the fuck? Talking about this in the daytime? Like, oh, yeah, we'll just walk through the woods. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm regretting... Being a big, um, um, yeah, big we, contributing factor to that. We because, definitely should have drove down here because that that just I'll move something. Here's the thing: we've been down to this cabin a few times. We've teenager. We've only ever walked out. We haven't really walked in. Um, so yeah, this is. I'm not gonna lie. This sounded like a much better idea during the day. Here's, here's the pond from what you can see, and it goes, it goes way back there. If I can convince Mark to do it, we'll, uh, we'll walk all the way around the pond. But uh, I may have to convince myself before we get there too. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be okay with that or not. There we've she only, is. There's the cabin. A couple minutes. Now we've we've gone back and forth about this cabin and our feelings on it. This cabin's only been here about. Mm, five years or so. So the cabin itself can't be haunted, right? But, bro, my gimbal's freaking out again. Is it really? Yeah. It's like, it's shaking. And it stopped. Alright. Um, cabin itself isn't I mean, it can't be haunted. It's it's a brand new cabin they brought down here and just dropped in place. But the area around the cabin, the, the pond and all that, that could potentially hold some... Dude, this thing is shaking. I don't know why. That's crazy. It's... you hear that? No, no, okay, so. No, I don't, what is it? The, the audio's picking up that running water down here next to the yeah. cabin. But I'm hearing something this direction. I hear Shh. that. Like a grunting. You, you heard that? Okay, I'm not fucking creepy. I'm not crazy. No, I heard that shit. It was a very quiet. Alright, so now I'm at a crossroads. I'm 
slightly um, on edge, we'll call it. Standing. What the forward? forward? It wants me to go towards the whistling. It wants you to go towards the woods. No, no, no. I'm not towards the whistling. Fuck that. Um, I'm at a crossroads. So we heard the whistling that way. So do we seek cover in the creepy ass cabin? I don't know. Let, let's go in the cabin. I I don't know. Let's just let's do that. Uh, I don't really think any option is going to be a good one. Definitely not. That fucking noise. I'm glad you heard that second whistle. I heard that second. That was creepy. What did it say when we walked in? Died very recently. Died very recently. Alright. So there's no power to the cabin at all. There ain't even any damn outlets in here. That's all from a, a solar panel setup that we had that don't work anymore. But, um, yeah, I'm going to set this down real quick and we can, uh... Look, we're here. Man. It's so much colder in here. <laughs> I think it's just, I think it's just the night. You think so? Yeah. I don't even like being in here. Um, do you hear that noise out there? Is that you walking around? That, that's the, the stairs creaking next to me. I am trying to close this as much as, much as I can. Can we lock that door? No, it doesn't close all the way. I'm having instant regrets about all this. I'm not even kidding you. I don't want to walk I, anymore. I, I say we go get the vehicle and nope, go back. Nope. We committed to walking. You remember the one time, I don't know if it was last time, because we've come down here a couple times for 20, 30 minutes and we just get creeped out or ran off. Um, one time I was sitting here and I told y'all that I just keep feeling like someone's looking at us through the windows. And then it said, look to the right. Yeah, said, and we were all looking right. at windows. Yeah. Man, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Haunted or not, this place is creepy regardless. Max sensitivity. How close can I get? All right. All right. So if you're here with us, we have this box you can touch to let us know. Just go near the box and it'll go off and we'll know you're here. Motherfucker. I need to watch my mouth. You know what's crazy about that is Alex doesn't understand paranormal exploration, we'll call it. And he was asking me about the REM pod and what it does and how it works. And I was giving him a demonstration. So I turned it on up there and we sat there for an hour and it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing for an hour. That's crazy. That's just like the other day, whenever you sat there with it, it was doing nothing, and you were like, hey, light it up before he gets back, and it went off. What are the lights? What the fuck? Look, I, I know y'all are just watching this through a screen, but it's a whole different feeling in here. Like, the REM pod going off. And then it says, what are the lights? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. I don't like this area at all. I had my back turned. Do you hear that outside? Mm -mm. What'd you hear? I heard a bang. Oh, damn. <laughs> we are watching you. We were just talking about how it feels like people are watching us through the windows yeah. here. Is it okay that we're here? I'm gonna come on the other side of you because I don't know if that's me making the floor make those noises or it's just. No, get out. Okay, let's go. Okay, take got it. it. All right, cool. All right, we should come back here. That was weird. That was that was creepy to say the least. I didn't like that. I literally asked if we're welcome, and it said no. Get out. Be Time. Ready. 
No, I'm not taunting you. I'm getting no, out. Nobody's no, taunting you. I'm, I'm getting we're, out. We're leaving. Nobody's taunting you. We're, we're going. <laughs> Let's get out of here then. All right. That light that you see out there, that is a lot farther than it looks on camera. That's, God, that is miles away, to be honest with you. It's like when. That's an animal. That's the first time I've heard an animal down here in a very long time. But anyways, that light is like one of those um, towers with a light on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really far away. I see the lights. Better turn your damn flashlight off. Yeah, let's not have a... Or is it referring to the light that I was just I mentioning? I think it's talking about the light you were just mentioning. Yeah, that's a huge drop off down there. You can hear that water running pretty good. What? Why is the boat over here? Is it only over there? Yes. I've never seen the boat. You seen the boat, the pictures, the thumbnail. Oh, I did the thumbnail. It was over there, wasn't it? Because you were looking this direction. Yes. That's crazy, because that's still water. Here's the thing. Even if it, even if it magically drifted, however it drifts, it's got. Hey, shine your light on this tree that's hanging over. It's got to drift around all of that. Did my light just dim? Yes. It did. It looks like it's about to die. Dude, these are brand new batteries. Alright. I need you to stop freaking out. You know something I've been thinking about while we were getting ready to come out here tonight? What? They've been uh excavating up here for that um oh. the church you said he wants to build? Yeah, so they've probably disturbed something. Yeah. It's weird. Oh man. I don't ever like looking behind me. I don't look behind me. I'm hiding here. I wonder if it's refer bro. Huh. It said I'm hiding here and my yeah. thing's shaking again. That is insane. Why does it only shake in certain spots? I don't it's know. Like, I'm, it's, no, I'm no tech guru, but let's walk off this spot and see if it stops. It's like we hear what? One foot and it stopped. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> something something's uh, any, weird. Any tech gurus out there who know about gimbals motorized gimbals specifically is it common for them to shake like this because I did the balance test and the um, what's that called the motor calibration for exactly how we're set up and everything passed so far we've got demon we've gotten no get out when I asked if we were welcome um, we got up here to the field it said safe trust me um, I don't know. I don't really trust it. <laughs> but it feels different up here. Now, whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> you get lured into a false sense of security, and then that's when things go haywire. Unfortunately, that was not paranormal. That was just Mark making all that damn noise. That was me. My fault, guys. Give me the backpack. You're the oh. world's worst backpack carrier. Damn, I'm sorry, guy. This gimbal's freaking out again. That's crazy. I would love to know if they're bad for that. We need to research that. We have been testing the equipment the last few days, shooting B-roll all that fun stuff. Yeah. And it hasn't been doing that. If it wasn't for the creepy factor, like, <laughs> it'd be a really nice knife. I'm not gonna lie. That's I don't know if y'all can say, yeah, the equipment, the reflection okay. on the equipment. I saw it coming around this bend. And I was like, what is that? So right now we're coming up on where they're doing all the excavating. 
They've been moving a lot of dirt the last week. And you know, a lot of people say and believe that disturbing the earth can stir up some activity. You can see they've been disturbing some earth. So what do you say? You want to hop down in this hole? Walk around this disturbed earth? May as well. Oh, am I going alone? No, no, I'm coming with you. Unless you want to go alone. I don't. Listen. Hmm. There's no animals. Yeah. Like nothing. That's just insane to me. Like you would hear, you know, a bird, an owl, a coyote. Crickets. I didn't want to die. Nobody does normally. Nobody does. Hear my voice. I mean, it's definitely quiet enough. We could probably hear you. Oh, I heard something behind you to my right. Hand. Threatening. Threatening. Hand threatening. I think this would be a good spot to do the spirit box with the Estes method. We can do that. And for those of you who don't know what the Estes method is, it's where you plug a spirit box into headphones. And one person listens with the headphones from a distance, and the other person asks the questions. And the person that has the headphones on is just saying whatever they randomly hear while they are also not hearing what the other person is asking. So what you're hoping to do is correlate what person A is hearing in the spirit box and person B is asking. So. Gives a little bit more validity. So he's going to put these headphones on. He's not going to be able to hear me at all. Um, I'm going to ask questions and we're just going to see what kind of responses he gets through the headphones. Um, just so that way it kind of gives more validity to like what we're saying the answers might be. Um, because if he's answering my questions intelligently. While not being able to hear the questions. While not being asking. able to hear the questions I'm asking. Then it, like I said, gives a little bit more validity to the situation rather than being like, oh, we heard this in the box or we heard that in the box. So what we're using is the SB7 spirit box. As you can hear, it's on. And this is what it'll sound like in my ears. I'm gonna plug these headphones in. So I'm gonna move these closer so you can you can see that this is. You can see it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's still sweeping. All right, you said you had a story to tell. My friend Rob over there has a box that you can communicate through. Um, go up and tell him your story and then he can tell us. Help me? What do you need help from? Are you trapped here? I feel like... I'm here. Okay, what's your name? Dead? Yes, you are, but we're trying to help you get your story out. If you could just tell my friend Rob over there. Help me. Question? You have a question for us? What the fuck was that? What was what? What was what? Bro, something just like... Like... You know when you're knelt down? 
and like you you get pushed and you like start to fall. Yeah. But I felt like I was like something was. Man. It felt like something was like jokingly trying to push me over. Because right right before we got set up, we yeah. were talking about how we didn't want to like fall in the mud because it's it's pretty mucky out here. Yeah. Dude, that was weird. Like it was it was it wasn't like a shove. It was just like a very gentle, like push. like push you off balance type deal. Yeah. Did you not just hear that? Uh-huh. Maybe it was the headphones, but I swear I heard that in the wood. We, we can we can keep going. Yeah. See that? That was weird. Alright. Put this back on. I'm I'm sure that Mike can pick these up. Doing this. Yeah. Hold, hold this. Actually, it's fine. I got it. All right. All right. Oh. Hold on. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna say this, but I'm gonna chalk it up to what just happened. And my adrenaline's really high. Mm-hmm. But like I just saw, I'm not gonna call it a shadow figure, like a dark something move, like right at the edge of the tree. Yeah. But it could just be my eyes playing tricks on me. So I say, we keep moving. <laughs> now let's let's do this for let's do this for another couple minutes. Um, whenever you're done, you're gonna you're gonna have to get my attention because I'm kind of looking down. I have my eyes closed. I'm trying to focus on hearing. I got you. I'll just is. flash the light. Whenever you're okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. Was it you that pushed A Rob? A do-over. A do-over of what? Was it you that pushed Rob? It was me. Fuck that. Fuck that. What? No, 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 no. I just did. Was it because it pushed off? It's cold. Fuck that. Fuck that. Nope. Hell no. Just just put this in the bag. You can leave it connected. Yeah, let's go. Where's the baggie at? Right, right back there on the hill. Did, did it, did that really happen? Oh, coyotes are out. That's fun. Bro, I said, was why it? is my light getting dimmer? I don't know. But I literally said, was it you that pushed Rob? That was me. With the bag. Jesus. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, you got the batteries? Yeah, I got them in my pocket. I'm super, I... super freaked out right now because I literally said, was that you that pushed Rob? And right afterwards, you, you said, your flashlight. it was me. I do. Can I, can I get a light back here? My light, just turn your light off. Okay, it's 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 better. Hold on, you're telling me, cause I, I thought maybe like I fucked up or you weren't ready cause you flashed the light so fast. No, the first question I asked was, did you push Rob? And you said it was me. <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. That's that's good enough for me. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's go down these creepy ass trails. You heard that? I did. 
not the frog. No, it sounded like a wind chime almost. Yeah, like... Now, this is gonna... This, this might make this sound fake or whatever. But you know what it sounded like? The zipper's on this backpack, except it was in front of us. Now... Could it possibly have been the zippers rattling and echoing? Sure. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna find that frog and do an interview. Oh, here's some of that cool old glass they found while excavating. Old bottles of some sort. That one looks like an old Coke bottle. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to this. Aggressive. <laughs> it definitely just said aggressive. Why are you so scared? Look, we're here. message is there a message that you would like us to convey are you upset that we're out here what? I've been here for centuries I only have to walk down this trail that sounds like a great <laughs> idea that sounds like a terrible idea nope that sounds horrible. Nope. There it is. It lit up. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah. Me too. Let's let's stop and think about this for a second. We walk down this big ass hill. We gotta walk back up this big ass hill. I'm buried down the road. Down the road, down the hill. You hear water? I do. Nice, we must be going towards the creek. Oh, right, Night right. whispers. Night whispers. Did it just say water? Did I not just ask about water? You did just ask about water. It definitely said water. There's a bend right here. I don't know where it goes to. Let's go to the bend. And we'll just kind of sit and listen for a little bit. Fair enough. That goes for everywhere. I think we should go back up the hill very quietly and calmly. And as nicely as possible. It just said butcher. Cool. The woods. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running up this hill? I'm not. I'm just trying to get up it quickly. <laughs> All right, that's it. That was a steep ass hill. That's a big ass hill. I agree. Well, Mark here has asthma. He's out risking his life. <laughs> I'm doing it for the cause. Doing it for the gram and the YouTube. That was the corniest shit ever. <laughs> but anyways, Mark, I wanted to ask you. You know, you've been here at Ghost Ranch for a little while. What's your what's your take? What's the vibe of Ghost Ranch since you've been here? It's it's different. Um I wanna say it's it's eerie almost. Like even just sitting by the gate I hear things all the time I see things all the time um, and then coming down to the cabin hearing the things that we've heard I, I don't I mean I'm afraid to say it, it's quote unquote haunted but I do think there's definitely something going on just from my own personal experience but again you know to each their own everybody's got their own opinions but so give me one experience that you've had since you've been here 
that comes to mind? Outside of all the ex exploration we have done. Yes, I was in the guard shack. And it was pretty quiet. Um, I was watching the cameras, you know, doing my thing. And I heard a loud bang behind me, almost like somebody was clinking metal together. Is and that when you called me and asked me if I was fucking with you? <laughs> that's when I called you. Because my first reaction was, there's no way. Like, he's got to be messing with me because we've been doing these. And he knew I was kind of on edge a little bit. But, no, it was unexplainable. I searched the shack. I looked everywhere. I walked around the shack. Nothing. Nothing fell. Nobody was out there. Literally just an unexplained noise. I don't I don't know what it was still to this day. And that freaked me out pretty bad. I've I've seen some shadows. Um, I can't say for sure that that was quote unquote paranormal. But it was creepy nonetheless. You know, it, it's funny you bring up shadows. Because, like I was mentioning earlier... With, you the rem, with the REM pod. Yeah. I was um, sitting in there with Alex. Yep. And I was showing him how it worked and all this. And I went back to my office. Right. And, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, he calls me. And he asks me if I'm messing with him. I said, no, I, I'm not. I'm sitting here on the computer doing some work. Said, Why? And he swears up and down. He's seen a shadow of some sort. I'm not going to say a shadow figure, but he's seen a shadow of some sort run across the woods right in front of the shack. Yeah. And I mean, it freaked him out enough to come to my office and tell me that he's seen it and to be sure that I was in my office and not messing with him. So it's very interesting. You you say you've seen shadows. Mm -hmm. Alex, just, just earlier tonight, said he's seen a shadow. Actually, it was about an hour before you showed up so we could film. That's Just, insane. That's the crazy thing about it, because I've never told Alex or anybody else that I've seen shadows, because I didn't want to sound crazy, but that's interesting. Everyone has had some sort of experience on the ranch. Colby, his experience that he just described to us the other night, I heard this for the first time in the three years that I've known Colby about the experience he had to understand Colby is not a bullshitter he's a very matter of fact guy he's a great guy and you know Colby comes in to start his shift as Mark and I are getting things together making a plan for gauging the activity of the property and Colby asks what are we doing we didn't really tell anybody what we were doing other than Ryan. You know, we spoke with Ryan, made sure he was okay with it. And he thought it would be really cool to, to learn about and see. Are you seeing something by that tree? I am. Okay. To the right of it? Yes. Shine. Can you shine your light, focus your light more? Pull the... Yeah. yeah. yeah your light's like very dim. It's going dead, I think. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's way brighter, but you can't see it. We'll get up closer and see. But yeah, I saw like on the right side of the tree. Yeah. But anyways, back to Colby. He comes in, asks us what we're doing. We tell him, oh, you know, we're gonna go explore the property and we'll see what kind of activity is here since we've all experienced things. Um, and he proceeds to tell us this story about one night and I do remember this night, uh, but he never told me the story that night. Um, it was when they were shooting the music video out in what we refer to as the horse field, and they had lit a fire in a fire pit out there. And they went back to the house to review some of the footage and wrap up for the night, and they had asked Colby to drive out there in the tracker and just make sure the fire's out. So Colby takes a trash can fills it up with water, loads it in the tracker, and starts driving these very same trails that we've been walking. And he said, on one of the trails, the trash can, bucket, whichever, whatever he used, flew out of the tracker. And you think, it's at least a five gallon bucket full of water. So you're talking what, 40 pounds? 
I, I, I don't know the conversion. He said it flew out of the tracker and flew down the hill. So he stops and shines his light and he sees what he describes as a two-dimensional deer skull about eight feet off the ground in the trees and as he's staring at this thing trying to figure out what it is it starts moving through the trees and when I say through the trees I don't mean on the ground through the trees the way he describes it and talks about it is that it's moving through the treetops if you will and he gave us this big long lecture about how we shouldn't be messing around with this stuff and we shouldn't be trying to communicate because that's the stuff that follows you home and again Colby is not the type to embellish or fluff anything and we were all kind of mark were we not we were all kind of laughing because yeah, we was, the the story he was telling was so ridiculous it was unbelievable it was the fear in his eyes <laughs> as yes. corny as that sounds like it that got me because i've never seen colby look like that and I mean, so I, and i asked him i said colby are you being serious or are you just messing with us and he said no i'm i'm being dead serious and i had him walk me through the entire story again and when I tell you not a single detail changed, I mean it. Not a single detail changed. The hell was that? I heard it from back where you were. I didn't see anything over here. I was not there. see, I heard. I didn't hear anything. I was listening to you. It sounded like a like a like a vehicle on gravel. I mean, there are houses and stuff back way, but they're pretty far away off, so yeah. I mean, the sound could have traveled, but... It is a clear night. That could anyways, have been Colby telling his story, and even these last few nights when we've been out here trying to get filming, you know, he, he warns us, like, don't don't go out there and open that, open that, that door, that gate, because you don't know what you're messing with. And yeah, it's just, it, it actually kind of messed with Mark and I's head, that first night we heard the story we kind of sat down and we're like hey should we really go out there because again we both know Colby he is not that kind of person to just screw around and say something like that just to get a rise out of us but being the so, highly intellectual people that we are we discussed it and decided to fuck it do it anyway right? yeah it's a great <laughs> Why idea not? And here we are it's a fantastic idea out here walking around these damn woods great idea Mark that is a big ass tree. I wonder how old that tree is. I say it's got to be pretty old to be that big. Yeah, because the field Colby was talking about is that one. Yeah, the the point, and I'll actually show you guys where he said this happened. Um, it's actually right up here on our on our left. It's okay. going to be right up about right there where that break in the tree is. And basically, it was it was right in there where. This all happened. And just for context, that's where he's seen it. And right down there is where we heard the footsteps. Yeah, here, let's 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 walk down here for a minute. So you gotta think. He's coming up this way, which would be at us. His bucket, trash can, whatever, goes down this hill. Directly that way is the cabin. Okay. Yep. Did you fucking hear that? I did hear that. I've heard drops in that water every time we've come down. But there. the thing is, the water's not right there. I know. It's down that hill. It's strange, isn't it? I don't want to say anything. Matter of fact, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but there's something off about it. Something ain't right. All right. Let's just keep. Let's, let's keep moving. But I think we should. uh we should uh, swing back by the cabin. Excuse me, the pond. I'm gonna stop referring to the cabin because that's gonna imply that it is the cabin. The cabin is just the building that's down there in that area. Yeah. And we've. I heard something again. So what I heard when we were down there was like. That's what I heard. It sounded like water drops. Yeah. 
but that water's way too far, and the water's not running on this end. It's it sounded all... like it was right next to us. Did you hear that again? Mm -hmm. That could have been your jacket. I'm gonna ignore it. Um, so yeah. We do explore the property at night, but we're usually on our side by side. It's got lights and it's loud. And we don't hear all the little rain. Oh shit, what the fuck oh, was that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude. No, fuck you. What was it? Uh, turn your light off real quick. That's no, fuck that. What was it? Uh, um What did you say? Something ran across the the path here are you serious dude i'm not if i didn't have my, these six layers on because it's so cold i would i would show you the chills that i have okay let's go what the fuck i don't know i didn't see it but you scared the hell out of me dude i, I like scared you know me i don't i don't i don't take off running like that in no. fact i was giving you so much shit about you being the one that was running dude that i'm telling you it was about where that shine your light on the big tree it was about right where that tree is, and it crossed from my right to left. Yeah, it crossed right about there, like where that hill is, where yeah. it crests. Dude, I'm telling you, I seen it clear as day. You think the camera got it, or did you get it? No, because I was facing forward. I, you, you know, you get that feeling, and I just I turned and looked back, and unless it caught it on the spin, which I highly doubt. Uh, no. All right. Anyways, <laughs> um. Um, I'm just gonna keep walking. No, fuck that. Um, because you know where that would be. That would, that would line up. With where Colby said he seen the light. No, 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 no. Because that's right here, not too far. The tree, just past the tree, is the other entrance down where we walked up from oh, from the pond the cabin area. area. So I mean, hey, it, it could have very well been a deer, or a coyote, or a skinwalker. I don't know. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pretend like. That didn't happen. I'm just gonna keep walking. I can't believe I took off running like that. I swore I wouldn't fucking run. I think you took off. <laughs> Dude, everything is different at night. And I feel like just and I'm not gonna show this on camera because it you're not gonna well here. Let me turn around and see. If I turn my light off. Let me turn this light off real quick. Oh, you can't tell on camera. It looks way darker on camera. But if you could see it through our eyes, it's actually pretty bright. Yeah, we could walk around out here without lights to be honest. Hey, all right, let's not let's not get carried away. <laughs> I can't believe you ran. You Dude. gave me so much crap about running. You said, don't run. <laughs> the people watching this, you don't have to believe that I seen what I seen. You could think I made it up. It's fake. Whatever the case may be, I don't care. You weren't here. You didn't see it. You're not feeling how this feels. I'm telling you, this is a whole different vibe. God, I hear them fucking coyotes. Do I? I hear them coyotes. That's a lot of coyotes. I'm hoping they're not close. No, they sound like they're behind us. Oh. You hear that? That's very much a howl. You want to just head back towards the main yeah, trail? Yeah, just head back towards the main trail. Glad we decided to do that. <laughs> Terrible idea. What are you looking at? I thought I heard something. We had this conversation before. He's like, you can't run. Don't run. And then you ran. So I was like, oh, it must be something bad. So I thought I was eating. <laughs> I was like, yep, it's here. I'm done. It's over. No, no, let's, let's be 100% real here. You, you've known me for a little bit now. Yes. I'm not the kind of person to take off running. I've never seen you take off running. I don't know why. Maybe it was the coyote droppings and I just thought there's a giant coyote coming to eat me. I, I don't know what I saw. All I can say is I seen something run across the horizon and it scared the shit out of me. I seen that, and like I said, I literally, I thought I was dead. <laughs> you ran, and I was like, yep, this is where my life ends. <laughs> Man, 
We're back. Right here. Yeah. Almost like scratches. Did it say hello? Hi. Was that you that I just seen through the window outside? Yep, I heard it too. That wasn't you? That wasn't me. Dude, I thought that was you and that was loud as shit. That was not me. Is that coming from where the boat is? So maybe that's a sign I shouldn't get in the boat. What the fuck is that? Bro, why would I open the... Ah, oh, fuck that. Nope, close that door. God damn it. I almost feel like I'm being cornered. Like, holy shit. I have... I literally have chills. Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 